in the bustling television landscape of the mid-1970s, The Jeffersons emerged as a groundbreaking sitcom that transcended stereotypes and brought a refreshing perspective to the small screen. Debuting in 1975, this Norman Lear creation became a cultural touchstone, providing a humorous yet thought-provoking exploration of race, social mobility, and the American dream. As the Jeffersons moved on up to the affluent Upper East Side of Manhattan, the show addressed issues with wit and candor, earning its place as a classic in television history. Have you ever found yourself reflecting on a specific scene or moment from the Jeffersons that left a lasting impact on you? Or perhaps, out of the diverse array of characters in the series, which one became your favorite? The show's ensemble cast, led by Sherman Hemsley and Isabel Sanford, delivered memorable performances that resonated with audiences across the nation. Before we delve into some intriguing facts about the show, we're curious what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the Jeffersons. We'd love to hear your stories and reflections in the comments below. Now, let's uncover some random facts that add a layer of fascination to this iconic TV series. Did you know that The Jeffersons was a spin-off of All in the Family? The success of George and Wheezy Jefferson's characters in the earlier show paved the way for their own spotlight. Moreover, the series ran for an impressive 11 seasons, making it one of the longest-running sitcoms of its time. As we navigate through the intriguing history of the Jeffersons, we invite you to share your own experiences and perspectives. What made this show special for you? Feel free to engage in the comments and connect with fellow enthusiasts. The picture on the Jeffersons' desk was no static backdrop. Every episode, it switched between shots of Louise, George, the couple together, Lionel, and Mother Jefferson. This seemingly subtle detail reflected the dynamic nature of the show, showcasing the diverse characters and relationships within the series. This small yet significant element added depth to the visual storytelling, reinforcing the interconnected lives of the characters. While other sitcoms might stick to a fixed set, the Jeffersons opted for this rotating visual, underlining the show's commitment to portraying a multifaceted family dynamic. In a way, this ever-changing picture encapsulated the essence of the Jeffersons, a show that broke ground in the 1970s by focusing on an affluent African-American family. Beyond its social impact, the series paid attention to the nuances of its characters' relationships, evident even in the details like the photo on the desk. As the show progressed, so did the images on that desk, reflecting the evolving narrative of the Jefferson family. It wasn't just a static sitcom, it was a reflection of changing times and relationships as seen through the lens of a rotating picture frame. And so, in the midst of laughter and witty banter, the Jeffersons quietly told a visual story with a simple yet effective element. The picture on the desk became a silent narrator of the family's journey, a unique touch in the landscape of 1970s television. Mike Evans, initially portraying Lionel Jefferson in the 1975 TV series The Jeffersons, made a pivotal career move after the first season. He left acting to join the writing staff of Good Times, seeking a more fulfilling role. Dissatisfied with his limited involvement in writing, Evans returned to acting but found the role of Lionel already filled. Despite stints on other series, including a regular role on the final season of The Practice, he eventually returned to the Jeffersons in a recurring capacity. Notably, by then heavily invested in real estate, acting was no longer a necessity for him. According to Sherman Hemsley, Evans never aspired to be an actor. This behind-the-scenes journey adds a layer to the Jeffersons, shedding light on the dynamics both on and off the screen. During its 11-season run, The Jeffersons navigated an impressive 15 different time slots. The show's flexibility in adapting to various time frames speaks to its enduring popularity and ability to connect with viewers across different schedules. Whether it aired in prime time or a late-night slot, The Jeffersons consistently found its audience, a testament to the show's widespread appeal. This adaptability contributed to the longevity of the series, making it a fixture in the television landscape. The ability to thrive in diverse time slots is a distinctive aspect of the Jeffersons' success, underscoring its significance in the realm of sitcoms. The show's iconic opening sequence, featuring the building located at 185E, 
85th Street in Manhattan became a recognizable symbol for viewers. This specific address added a layer of authenticity to the show, grounding it in a real and relatable setting. The choice of a genuine location for the opening sequence reflected the show's commitment to authenticity, contributing to its overall appeal. As the Jeffersons made its mark in television history, one standout aspect was Mike Evans' strategic career move. After the first season, Evans departed the show to co-create Good Times, seeking a more fulfilling role. Dissatisfied with limited involvement in writing, he later returned to acting but found his role already filled. Despite various stints on other series, including The Practice, Evans eventually returned to the Jeffersons in a recurring capacity. Interestingly, by then heavily invested in real estate, acting was no longer a necessity for him. This behind-the-scenes journey sheds light on the dynamics both on and off the screen, adding a unique layer to the Jeffersons' narrative. Elvis Presley, the King of Rock, and Roll had a surprising favorite television show, and it was a music-oriented program. According to his maid, one of Presley's top picks was The Jeffersons, a sitcom that made its mark in 1975. The show's popularity extended beyond typical viewer demographics, capturing the admiration of even legendary figures like Elvis. While the reasons behind Presley's fondness for The Jeffersons remain a matter of curiosity, it adds a unique layer to the show's widespread appeal. The fact that it resonated with such an iconic figure in the entertainment industry speaks to its broad and enduring popularity. Presley's affinity for the show might prompt fans to reconsider what made the Jeffersons stand out during its 11-season run. Beyond its impact on viewers, it seems to have left an impression on one of the most significant cultural icons of the time. In the world of entertainment, unexpected connections like this reveal the far-reaching influence of a show like The Jeffersons. It goes to show that its appeal wasn't confined to a specific audience, but had a broad and diverse reach. The Jeffersons, with its relatable setting and authentic storytelling, managed to capture the attention not only of everyday viewers, but also of someone as legendary as Elvis Presley. This unexpected endorsement adds an intriguing facet to the show's history, highlighting its ability to transcend boundaries and resonate with audiences across different walks of life. As we delve into the layers of the Jeffersons, it's clear that its impact extends far beyond the television screen. From its iconic opening sequence to its ability to thrive in various time slots, the show's success is a testament to its enduring charm and cultural significance. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of the Jeffersons, let's take a moment to traverse the corridors of time and revisit the charm that this iconic 1975 TV series brought into our lives. The Jeffersons wasn't just a show, it was a mirror reflecting the ever-evolving tapestry of human stories and aspirations. As you contemplate the indelible Mark George, Wheezy, and the entire cast left on your heart, consider this television, at its essence, is a shared experience. It's a communal journey where the characters become our companions, the plot lines are adventures, and the laughter or tears are shared emotions. What's your connection to the Jeffersons? Was it the hilarious banter between George and Wheezy that brightened your days? Perhaps it was the show's unapologetic take on societal issues that made you ponder. We invite you to unravel your memories, share your favorite moments, and let the nostalgia flow. Whether it's a snippet of laughter echoing through the years or a poignant scene that tugged at your heartstrings, your story is a mosaic piece in the grand narrative of the Jeffersons. In this age of digital interconnectedness, let's weave a virtual tapestry of collective reminiscences. Drop your thoughts, memories, or reflections below and join a community that celebrates the enduring magic of the Jeffersons. Thank you for taking this stroll down memory lane with us. Your tales add depth to the legacy of this beloved series. Until we meet again in the realm of nostalgia, keep those stories alive.